hello traders welcome back to the channel and to a new video today i wanted to talk about order flow tools in trading view now trading view is not you know it has a bunch of great attributes and it's an excellent platform that is very easy to use and accessible however it does have its limitations when compared to other platforms like ninja jigsaw sierra chart etc in that trading view still doesn't provide uh tick data and so <clears throat> there's some indicators like uh, footprint charts uh, uh doms market profiles etc which are still not very uh developed or very um uh, still useful in trading view as there's no real accurate indicators for those however there is you know ways for example their volume profile indicators are very good and there's some indicators that have been written by people using the volumes data that trading view has specific to each exchange in order to make their calculations for different studies that can come very close to what you might be using in other platforms so this video i'm going to go over two indicators plus the intraday volume profiles that I use, which I've already talked about in another video I made recently regarding my uh, day trading uh, settings for TradingView. But I'm gonna talk about two indicators. There's many out there, but these are two that I have uh, uh, been observing lately. Again, I do my trading on Sierra chart, so I don't use TradingView specifically for this, but for those of you that only have access to TradingView, this is something that can really help you. So I'm talking about these two indicators right here. One is called the Market Order Bubbles by Leviathan, and you can just go here to Indicators. And if you just put Market Order, it's right here, the first one here market order bottles, bottle bubbles by Leviathan. And you know, you can just go and click on read more. And this is gonna give you a whole description of how the indicator works exactly, how it is calculated, etc. So that is the first one. And this indicator is this things right here. These little circles that you see here around this, uh, usually around like swing points then the second one it's the koala field volume extension you can just go to indicators and just go look for koala field koala feed sorry not koala, koala feed and you can see right here he has a few indicators one of them is actually a vwap which this is useful as well, an anchored periodic VWAP. But we're going to talk about the first one here, volume extension. This one, again, if you go here on the right side, you can even see the source code as well. And if you click on read more, you're going to get a whole description of uh, what this is exactly, okay, and how it is calculated. This one, in this case, it's this might be a little bit harder to see but i'll show you it's this candles right here you can see there's some black colored candles that i have here that indicates that they're high cell volume candles and then there's another one which i put in blue you can change all these colors to whatever you want these blue ones indicate high buying volume candles as you can see okay but not all of them are marked there are certain conditions within the calculations that uh, points out specific points where there is an overwhelming amount of high volumes coming in okay so the settings that i have for the market order bubbles if we go here um <laughs> I leave pretty much this set as the same. Uh, the sizes, I just pretty much have a two, three, four. I don't touch any of this stuff right here. 
and then on the style I leave everything as is as well visibility I only set it at hours minute and seconds and uh, even then this order flow indicators for me the best use they have is actually for intraday trading for more short-term trading if you're looking at a like a five minute or a low time chart etc because um, I think the best use for my style of trading of order flow is just to look for short-term quick uh, divergences that you can see where traders are trapped and then you can try to catch those quick moves to the other uh, in the opposite direction so I just have a mark from the hours minutes seconds style I don't touch anything here and inputs again I just have it green and red and two three four the sizes and then for the koala feed volume extension right here I don't touch anything with the inputs in as far as the colors like I said I just marked it as blue for the bull extension black for the bear extension and then aside from that I don't touch anything up here and then in the style I do not have the first extensions enabled I only have the second ones which means that it's only capturing the really big divergences based on this standard deviations and the C score moving average length uh, rising falling I don't have this enabled but if you want to see the highlights better you can click this on and what it does is it turns all the candles white except for the ones that are marked off with the divergence so you can see here all these candles are marked white but then you have this ones right here in blue and black are the ones that are marked as extremely high volumes based off of the indicator okay so I'm just gonna leave it like this for now with white candles just so you can really see this indicator easily so I'm just gonna go over a few markets I specifically use this in futures and on crypto on like big uh, volume coins like for example Bitcoin under coinbase or binance you know just very large volume indicate uh exchanges i know that crypto is a decentralized market however you know if you go with binance or coinbase you know there's going to be very high traded volumes there so the data is still in my opinion is going to be reliable and then futures obviously it's all coming from the cme data uh, Forex I don't really recommend using this on Forex because I don't know how accurate it can be because as you know most of the Forex trading it's uh, o, um, uh, OTC over the counter so Forex volumes are not really measurable or accurate so I would just use this in futures and like I said on larger crypto markets okay so now that I've covered that introduction into the definition of the indicators let's just talk about what I can use this or what's the use on this ones so as far as the market order bubbles as you can see let's go into like a 15 minute chart here and here you can see that I also have my intraday volume profiles as well let me check here okay this is my evening and then this is my morn my regular trading hours from 9 30 to 5 p.m and over here this indicators that i'm using are just the session volume profiles you can find them in indicators technicals profiles and i'm using this one's right here session volume profile let me make this a little bit less dark just so it's easier to see right there okay so this is pretty much 
I covered this in the other video, but I always like to split my profiles when I'm trading futures into extended trading hours, which is from 6 p.m. Eastern to 9.30 a.m. the next day, and then regular trading hours, 9.30 a.m. to 5 p.m., okay? And so here, let me move this to the back. Let me move this to the back so it doesn't cover my candles. So then the um, market order bubbles, what I'm looking for this one is to try to catch traders that get trapped off sites or when we have a very aggressive move with people chasing markets. So for example here, if we analyze this day right here, this is the extended trading hours. And then you can see right here towards the end of the extended hours right before the open we started getting a lot of aggressive buying here which coincided with the high from the previous days uh, regular trading hours high right here there was a bunch of buying here trying to catch a breakout and you can see right before we open we actually had a high volume uh, breakout here and down below here, I actually have just a regular volume indicator as well. And you can see right here, this volume picked up. You can obviously see in futures, the difference in volumes between regular trading hours and extended trading hours is huge. Because remember, in regular trading hours, this is regular stock market hours and all the U.S. banks, hedge funds, financial institutions are open and trading, whereas over here is mostly Asian and European markets only. So you can see how volumes are so much higher on regular trading hours versus the extended hours, okay? But then you can see right here how we had a high volume push up more high market orders just trying to buy and chase this breakout and then right when the market opens we have a huge selling volume candle down pretty much reversing the whole trend that started here since about 3 a.m when the when the european markets opened right here and then from there we just had a down momentum here for the rest of the day okay so again this bubbles i like to use them in order to try to identify trapped traders here we go this is the s p 500 the es market this is a five minute chart and same thing here i got my regular trading hour profile in gray and the one that has blue is my extended hours you can just see it by the volumes you can see the huge difference in volumes from regular hours to extended. So usually when I'm looking at extended hours, then I have to pull this up and just extend this to just have a clearer picture here. Okay, but then let's just start looking here at the S&P markets. And you know same thing here with the bubbles that i was talking about here for example we have this extended hours trading right here let me expand this volumes right here at the bottom and you can see we had this low right here market pushed up we have a big high volume node here we're coming back down towards this lows right here selling volume start picking out and you got a lot of aggressive selling right at this low traders are just trying to predict and get ahead of a breakdown here and then market just reverses and then right here we have a high volume spike right into the top edge of this node and you can see this was a very key sr level right here we had support broken resistance 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 and then another stab high volumes buying with some market orders to buy here we reverse and then immediately as soon as regular market opens big volume inflection as usual right when the market opens with some high 
market selling again right at this big support level from the extended hours and then this just reverses so then a lot of traders get caught offside here and then they're liquidated or they're forced to exit their shorts meaning they need to buy back their position and that just adds fuel to the fire for a reversal here okay so the high volume candles the volume extensions what i use them for is two main things and i go over this in a lot more detail in my uh day trading course as well where i talk more about delta and other things available in sierra and other platforms that are not here but with the volume extensions i'm looking for either a confirm a, a confirmation of a high volume breakout from let's say like a trend line or a or a range etc or it's going to be an exhaustion move for example we have a great example right here in this area you can see on this day we opened up market started trending up pushing up here a ton of aggressive buying at the top we come back down and a lot of this were probably forced to close at a loss etc and then we pull back with aggressive volumes right into this high buying activity area again and then it just stalled from there so a lot of times we get a big volume inflection into a previous area of support resistance and it's pretty much just a retest and then right after you can see buying just starts dying down and then market just starts sort of faltering because remember if you have usually if you have like a breakout on low volumes that's sort of a sign that this might just be a fake out and then that this might just be uh you know it's going to fail let's see other examples sometimes for example this one here you can see we had this high volume node and we had this ranging environment that we had right here and then right here at the bottom you can see aggressive selling high volume selling so this we could have seen like a reversal and trapping traders here but then once you see selling is rising and rising and rising and then we do start just going down okay this is a high volume confirmation that we are breaking down below the support level because the selling is accelerating in volumes and we're getting more and more aggressive selling until we get down to this point and then you can see the selling just sort of subsides the volumes of selling and that's pretty much it this was the close on this last friday and again big level of support right here into the 4380s and then right here on the last hour of trading on friday selling volumes accelerating a lot of aggressive sellers right into a support level the bottom edge of a high volume node this is one thing i've always say you can look at my channel there's a video called biggest vol high volume profile trading mistake and i talk about this you do not want to be trying to just aggressively short into a high volume node edge support or longing into a high volume edge resistance and then you can see we push up high selling volumes as soon as we come up and test this upper edge of this node which was resistance support resistance an important level right here in the 43 90s and then we just get slapped down with big aggressive selling okay so that is in the futures market and let's just finish off here with the uh bitcoin just to look at an example what i was talking about of using this volume extensions in order to confirm breakouts so bitcoin if you've been following my channel i was looking for a retest of this level right here for a very long time this level right here around twenty-five thousand eight hundred, was a huge level 
support, resistance, resistance. This is a daily chart. I'm just showing you first the high time frame context, and then we're going to go into the low time frames. And then we came down here. You can see a falling wedge, and we tested this level right here, a fresh retest of this gap that we had and then into the bottom of this trend line and then we came up here one two three and on the fourth touch we had this big breakout here there was also good news remember there were a lot of talks regarding uh bitcoin etf applications from big banks so that drove a very large move last or this week so if we go down into the one hour chart First, you can see right here how we have our trend line right here. And then you can see, for example, we have the first, second, and then on the third touch here, aggressive buying here that gets rejected. Same thing down here. We have this clear trend line, and then we are getting aggressive selling any time we get uh, close to it. But then the, what I'm interested in showing you is this breakout area because this is where this indicator for me is useful. And again, I wouldn't really use this on a time frame larger than one hour. That's personally me. I like to use this more on the one hour or intraday time frames. But you can see right here, we tested the bottom of the wedge of the, the falling... Uh, wedge or pennant and then once we come here back near the breakout point you can see that now market is making higher lows higher lows we tested it again and then instead of coming down into the bottom of the pennant again selling starts increasing and increasing and then we're getting this whole series four straight hours of blue aggressive buying candles meaning there was a big deviation of buying volumes over here therefore confirming to me that this was indeed a genuine breakout here with high volumes and then you know if you just zoom out you can see that we just had a very good follow through you can see now here now that this whole move has sort of calmed down a little bit now we had aggressive high volume buying but we're near a top and now we're sort of just drifting around okay but the location of this is very important like i said i use them mostly to confirm breakouts from ranges trend lines important um support resistance levels and then the bubbles i just use to try to identify levels where traders might be getting trapped where we're getting a lot of absorption from big limit orders so as you can see we come up here and then as soon as we start hitting a lot of aggressive buying markets just sort of calm down because there's some aggressiveness here coming on that doesn't mean it necessarily has to just dump it might be like you know markets push then they consolidate regain strength and then they might push again like we had right here for example okay so that's it for the video i hope this was useful and i hope these two indicators again there's many others i have not tested a lot of them but i have been watching this too and i wanted to share it with you because i know many of you use trading view and want to get some sort of more advanced order flow tools to use in there and with that i leave you hope you're all well check out my course page and website and follow on twitter and make sure to subscribe here and hit that thumbs up for more content like this in the future take care